Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and literally the second I stopped filming my Medusa's makeup video, the doorbell rang and my KMD quarterly like lifestyle box just got here. So I'm going to open it up and let's take a look at it together. So of course, this is the summer version of the KMD box. I don't really remember what this one's supposed to be about, what's in it, so. It'll be fun. We'll be getting to go through this together. We have our little booklet, which historically we have found has some great descriptions and some descriptions that tell you nothing about the product, but we have it anyway. Let's just go by what is on the very top of the box. So let me flip to that page real quick. On the very top of the box, we have the Mindfulness Coloring Book, Anti-Stress Art Therapy for Busy People by Emma Ferrarons. So here is what that looks like. And it's just a bunch of doodles for coloring, as you might imagine. Let's see if I can do this backwards to show you some of these doodles. Some of them are like unique, some of them repeated images. Uh, admittedly, I'm not really a coloring book kind of person, but um, I'm going to stew on this thing about what to do with it. I could gift it. Um, I could give it a try and see if I am a coloring book kind of person. I don't think I am, but we'll see. Let me read you the description. So let's see. Stay present in the moment. Vacations are their own form of mindfulness meant for you to disconnect from the everyday so you can relax, reset, and be fully in the moment. And no matter what type of vacation or staycation, you enjoy, you'll reap more benefits by being fully present at the moment. Find a self-care ritual that works for you. Why we love these mindfulness coloring books. The mindfulness coloring book is specifically designed to be portable and compact. I'll give them that. Very portable, very compact. The cover feels really nice. It's a nice paper. Let me see the paper inside. The paper inside is a hair short of a cardstock, I'd say. It's still just a paper. I think it is gonna be thin to the point where it'll probably bleed. So probably more of a colored pencil type thing. But, I mean, you could try it out with pens. I don't know. Anyway, what was I saying? Whether you keep it in your, whether you keep it in a purse, on a shelf, or in a drawer at your desk, or tuck it in a carry-on bag as long as it's accessible, you have a creative outlet at your fingertips that can help you step back, calm your anxiety, and reconnect with the moment. So, really not exactly my thing. Not the most jazzed about it, but it does seem like a quality made product, even though it's probably not something I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. So next, let me find the next item in here in our little bag. Okay, so we have from W&P a craft cocktail kit for a margarita. So it's got margarita mix, rimming salt, a jigger, a bar spoon, and a linen coaster. So that's pretty cool. There's the front, the back shows you the items it comes with. I love a cocktail. I love a margarita. They're one of my favorite drinks. So this is kind of fun. This is definitely more up my alley than the coloring book. Let's read a little bit about it. It's five o'clock somewhere. No matter what time it actually is, this delicious margarita kit makes the perfect mocktail or cocktail. All you have to do is add tequila, juice, or seltzer, or whatever substitute you prefer. Why we love WNP. At WNP, we're working to build a happy, healthy, sustainable world beginning in every kitchen. We design products that improve the way we eat and drink every day from morning coffee to lunch in the park to evening cocktails. Our essentials solve problems for real life, elevate the everyday, and make it simple to do good. I don't know if a travel cocktail kit is really solving a problem in real life, but you know, I love their ambition. <laughs> I do like that though. I've always eyeballed travel cocktail kits, but never really thought to buy them. There's usually a bar everywhere you go. So this is kind of fun though. This is definitely kind of fun. 
maybe I'll take that with us this weekend to Ocean City and we can just pop in a liquor store and get a little tequila and I'll give it a try and see if it's any good. You'll have to check out my uh, vlog to see how that turns out. The next item we have here is the Catherine Melandrino. Why does that sound familiar? I think I had a perfume from Catherine Melandrino back in the day from a... Um, what was that box called? A birch box. I had gotten it from birch box. Anyway, this is the seven piece manicure set daily essentials. The set includes two emery boards, a nail clipper, a nail file, a cuticle pusher, and tweezers. Seems like everything is a nice like travel item this month. I wonder if that's the theme. Yeah, it's wanderlust so travel. So let's, let's open it up and take a look inside before we read about it. Okay, so we have like this lavender container in like a crescent shape and here is the inside now you can see uh, one of my emery boards did come damaged so that's not cool but otherwise this looks like a nice little kit it is a little large for weekender traveling I feel like but if you're doing a um, not carry on carry on not carry on that's your weekender um if you're checking luggage, that's what I'm trying to say. If you're checking luggage, this is maybe not so bad. I think I'll um I'll pack it with me for this weekend. And whether I use it or not, I will at least see how um how comfortable it was to travel with amongst all my other stuff. Because I'm I've packed for like four and a half days. Which is a lot for a weekender when you need multiple outfits because you're going to be swimming and showering and swimming and showering. So, yeah. I like this in concept. I do feel this is a lot of extra space. You know what I mean? So, it's taking up a lot of real estate that maybe it doesn't need to for a travel product. But I am excited to give it a use. It is nice to have something like this when you are away for more than a couple days. Now to read you guys the description, it says, while self-care means different things to different people, it's clear that we all benefit from acts of self-care regardless of whether it's a full spa day or something as simple as a DIY manicure. And you guys know I do do my own nails at home. A little self-care goes a long way. Need some help reconnecting with yourself? Treat yourself to a massage or give yourself the gift of an at-home spa day and mani-pedi. This is a great way to release tension and pamper yourself or try taking a walk in nature or spending some time outdoors. Fresh air and natural surroundings can have a calming effect on the mind. So that's what I mean about these descriptions. This doesn't tell me anything about this kit, Catherine Melandrino's intention behind making it. Like it tells me nothing about the product. <laughs> so strange, these descriptions. Okay, the next item. This is from Pop Mask. It is their sleepover self-warming steam mask. It can help relieve migraines, tension, headaches, dry eyes, and sleep problems. There's five of them in here. They warm up in 30 seconds. They're rose scented. This seems neat. I can't wait to try Ooh, Let me not drop it. I can't wait to try this. I've gotten an item like this before from one of my friends and it just, it really does just heat up and I just laid there with it over my eyes for like 20-30 minutes and it was very relaxing. I uh, definitely will probably save these for headaches because I certainly get enough of those around that time. So, this is exciting. I'm very interested in this too. Warm your heart, soul, and face at least once a week. I recommend running a bath with essential oils. I'll also put my favorite music and a pop mask to depuff and relax my face and eyes while soaking in the tub. And the founder of Pop Mask is quoted as saying that. Open a pouch of sleepover, take a mask out, and put it on. Take a 20 minute nap on the couch and feel the gentle warmth as, as the mask heats up while you meditate or rest, or just close your eyes and enjoy the time out. Yeah, I think these will be nice. I'm excited to have gotten those. So far, like we're doing mostly good. This is not a bad box so far. Okay, the next box is kind of heavy. This is from Keys Soul Care, Reviving Aura Mist, um, Rose of Jericho and Witch Hazel. 
So um, let's just uh, read about this before I open it up to make sure it's something I actually want. It's Alicia's one wish that every soul can experience moments of self-care and acceptance so that we can all shine brighter. I guess Alicia is the founder of Keys Soul Care. Um, all right. At Keys Soul Care, we believe in soulcations. <laughs> Taking the time to transform caring for your skin into moments of personal ceremony. Wherever you are on your journey, a ritual of self-love acceptance and acceptance has the power to nourish your skin and nurture your soul. This still doesn't really tell me what it is, so I'm going to read the box. So basically, it's a facial mist with rose and witch hazel, which is not the most exciting thing. I feel like this packaging is really inflating what the product must be. Here's a picture of the product. I'm going to keep the seal on here for now because I'm not sure that this is something I'm going to use. And if I give it away, I haven't decided yet, I'm probably going to want to keep it sealed. So it's just already, it's a nice little own package. So also not too jazzed on that one. I'm less jazzed about that than the color book, coloring book even because at least the coloring book is like a nice product. This feels like artificially inflated packaging for what you're actually getting in it. So our next item, it says LNW Bio Glacier set of two cryo cooling globes. I've seen people with these online. They look really fun. So let's see. Ooh, I like that packaging. That's kind of fun. Here are the globes. They're two pink globes full of, I guess, water. And um, I think you're supposed to put them in the freezer, right? Place in the fridge overnight. Yeah. And then wipe them clean when you're done with them after massaging your face in the morning. So that I'm excited about because I've seen these and I've been really fascinated about them. Okay, so the brand must be Lux and Willow, not L&W. And let's read this whole page to see if it tells us anything. A different kind of globe trotting. Store your cooling globes in the refrigerator or freezer for a few hours before use. The colder the globes, the more effective they will be. Try using the globes in the morning to reduce puffiness and give your skin a healthy glow or at night to help soothe and calm your skin before bedtime. Five travel tips from Lux and Willow. One, take a walking tour. Two, try new foods. Three, pack a power strip. Four, use public transportation. And five, learn a few basic phrases. That's only applicable if you're going to a place that doesn't speak your language. People travel in their home countries, you know. That's kind of silly. I, I don't know why this brand is giving us travel tips. Why we love Lux and Willow. Our mission is to empower women to embrace their natural beauty and feel confident in their own skin regardless of their age or background. Because kindness means more than just being nice to others it means being kind to ourselves and our bodies as well okay. well at least that one did have at the beginning some tips for what to do with the product and how to use it and the air conditioner is coming back on sorry if you can hear that the next item we have um i already have this product this is from captain blankenship it is the texture golden shimmer sea salt spray so i'm if there's room, I'm going to put this in the giveaway box as well because I've literally already got a completely barely used full size of, well, same size of this. Um, and it's basically a sea salt spray that has gold flecks in it. So you get like dreamy little gold flecks in your hair. But let me read to you what is on their product page. Be kind and love yourself. Captain Blankenship strives to challenge the conventional idea of beauty that we all grow up with. And they believe that effortless beauty is all about embracing your natural hair texture, color, or whatever else feels authentically you. Travel tip. I guess they must have all been asked to give travel tips or something. Travel tip from the founder. One tip for motivating kids to... Um, you know what? I'm going to stop right there. I don't care. I don't have kids. And I don't want kids. And I don't like to travel with kids. So I'm just not going to read the rest of that. Well, let's move on to the next product, shall we? Okay, we've got a shampoo and conditioner here. These are great sizes for travel. I uh, 
actually might tuck these away for Vegas because these are fairly sizable while still being not too large. So that's kind of nice. So they have a citrus lavender scent. They're vegan, cruelty free, biodegradable formula, yada, yada, yada. Now the purple label does make me think that they're purple shampoos, which would be silly to send in a box like this to everyone. That's just my mind playing tricks on me. I think they're purple because of the lavender, but let's go ahead and read a little bit about these products. Let's see. Oh yeah, and they're from Plain Products. So Plain Products designed these bottles to help minimize the waste created during travel. The bottles are reusable and can be refilled with Plain Products at home shampoo and conditioner products once you return. And with aloe being the main ingredient, these products tend to be very dense, so a little goes a long way. Plus, one travel bottle lasts for a week or more. Depending on how often I shower, I don't know that that conditioner would last me a week, but okay. Not everyone has my thick ass, needy, dry, moisture leaching hair. So that is what it is. The waste created by single-use consumption is a global issue. It intersects with pollution, climate change, and health concerns. Our company works to in a, our company works to involve our customers in the solution by empowering them to participate in the reuse of their packaging. That's kind of nice. These are a really good size. These would be actually really nice to reuse. And let's take a look. Yeah, it's a nice big wide open mouth. So these would probably be really easy to clean out too. I'm, I'm a fan, I'm sold on that. As long as these don't leak, I'm pretty pleased with those. And we have one item left. I left this for last since it's kind of the biggest. This looks like it is a traveling case. So let's see, how do we open this? It's Velcroed. Now I already have a pretty good traveling case. It was the Lily Pulitzer for Target collab and it's a really big, substantial, nice traveling case. But that said, you can never have too many of these things, especially in the summer when you're packing sunscreen stuff. I feel like sunscreen takes up its whole own case. So I am kind of excited to have this. This is uh, mesh so you can put something that needs air in there like if you're packing away wet things this is kind of neat i could even stick my makeup stuff in here because i don't pack a lot of makeup most of the time when we travel I'm, I'm, I'm not mad about this even though i already have stuff like this i feel like you can never have too many maybe that's just my philosophy but let's go ahead and read about this jet set go or stay made for on the go or help to help you stay organized at home, the exclusive K&D hanging cosmetic case is designed to keep all your precious creams and products right where you need them instead of all over your luggage. Uh, with the K&D hanging case, you've got no shortage of organization. It's got four zippered pockets, a clear waterproof section, two mesh pockets, and internal bands. So, yeah, I'm not mad about that. I'll probably use this. Honestly, I haven't packed any of my toiletries yet because we still have a couple days before we leave and I like to do that part last minute, but I definitely think I could use this for something. So, not mad at this at all. So overall, there's only three items that really make me like kind of meh about them. This because this was literally just sent out in a comparable beauty box recently. So. Some people who get all the boxes will definitely have already gotten this, so it's kind of annoying. This, because it feels deceptively upscale when it's literally water, like rose water and witch hazel. This does not need to be this fancy. It just, this seems to be trying too hard. And then the coloring book, because this is just very niche. I feel like not even that many people are into coloring. I know a lot of people are. But to put it in a subscription that goes to a wide swath of people, I think it's maybe a little specific. But I'll figure out something to do with it. I, I'll figure out something to do with all of it. So I'm pretty happy with this box. I think this is probably my favorite one so far. 
a lot of these things I definitely see myself using and I'm pretty excited about so not bad if I had to give this a rating, I think I'd give it like an A minus B plus. I think this was mostly really good. So I'm happy with this. If you guys get the seasonal box, definitely let me know down below what your thoughts were. Did you like this box? Are these things you think you would use? Did you like the products that maybe I did wasn't so excited about? Let me know. You can give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button. Leave any comments you'd like down below, even if you don't plan to get this video. Check out amandaphenomenon.com where I've been posting new blog posts recently. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.